Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking retinol, but more specifically, I want to share with you the very best retinol containing products for anti aging skincare. I know in my mid 30s, I definitely feel over the last couple of years, I've needed a little extra help and support from my skincare products and routine to tackle the fine lines, the wrinkles, loss of firmness, and elasticity. And hands down, a good retinoid is the very best thing you can include in an anti aging skincare routine. Of course, there's some ding 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 holy grail products out there and some wah, 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 total fails and I kind of want to break it down and share the very best on the market in today's video. I also want to give you some hints, tips and hacks for how you can apply them properly for maximum efficacy from whichever product you choose. So sit back, relax and let's talk anti-aging retinols. Now before we get into this, the usual caveat applies. I have super oily and acne prone skin and all of these recommendations are based on my own experience and skin type. Different products will work differently on different skin types and I've tried to include a recommendation for every single skin type out there. I've left timestamps in the description box below, so if you want to jump to one section of the video or another, be my guest and use the timestamps below. While you're down there, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and a like, because honestly, it supports me and the channel so, so much, and I would love you forever. But shall we cut the waffle and just get straight on into it? And let's start with a brief overview of retinoids and what they actually deliver in the skin. So retinoids are a term for vitamin A derivatives, and they could come in different forms. You might see retinols, you might see retinals, you might see retinaldehyde. There's also different names. And I think often brands bamboozle us with all the science and the terminology, and it can be really difficult to work out whether the product you're reaching for is a medium, low, or a high strength retinoid. This, I hope, will demystify everything. And today's video is focusing on those really high strength retinoids that are going to deliver the maximum benefit for your anti aging skincare routine. When it comes to the benefits you can get from a vitamin A derivative, first and foremost, collagen production. So, collagen is what gives our skin that firmness, that snapback, and elasticity. Unfortunately, as we age, the body's natural ability to produce collagen slows down and our levels dip like this. Do not worry because actually a retinoid included in your skincare routine will help to boost the collagen production in the body, bring back some firmness, elasticity and iron out some of those fine lines and wrinkles. It will also increase the rate of cellular turnover. Like collagen, our body's ability to regenerate cells and turn them over does slow down as we age, which means, again, we seem to cling on to those dead skin cells a little bit longer than we need to. That can lead to some dullness to the complexion. It can also lead to hyperpigmentation and acne marks not fading quite as quickly as maybe they previously did. Retinoids will help speed that up and just really eliminate some of that dullness, bring back some vibrancy and luminosity to the complexion. They can also be great for tackling any age-related hyperpigmentation and dark spots because again, by increasing that rate of cellular turnover, we're expelling that excess pigment quicker, which means we should get a more smoother and all-over even complexion through including a retinoid in our skincare routine. It kind of almost sounds too too good to be true. Unfortunately, retinoids do come with some side effects. In the first like three months of using one, you can suffer from some dryness, redness, peeling, irritation, what the industry knows as the retinoid uglies. These can be a little bit problematic and you have to just battle through them to the gorgeous skin that awaits you on the other side. There are some really good hints, tips and hacks for first incorporating a retinoid into your routine and I captured them all in a recent video which I'll link up there. Definitely worth watching because I think if you get those hacks in early, you'll avoid a whole host of the side effects and you're retinal journey will just be so, so much easier to navigate. And I want to help you navigate through all of that marketing that brands throw at us and really just share with you some of the very best, high strength, super effective in terms of anti-aging retinoid products on the market. I think realistically, whichever one of these you reach for, you will need to invest around three to four months before you start seeing those results. That's just because topically applied skincare takes some time to take effect. And you need to bear that in mind because I always think if you set your expectations right at the start, you won't be disappointed or frustrated when they don't come as quickly as maybe you want them to. Whichever of these products you use, definitely make sure that you lead in gradually, work up from maybe three times a week to four times a week to daily if your skin can tolerate it. Some skin types never can tolerate using a retinoid every single day and that's absolutely okay. Work out what your skin's saying to you and use it as frequently as you're able to, but make sure you introduce it gradually to minimize any redness, peeling and irritation. First and foremost, let's talk about the prescription strength options. So a lot of people say use TRET or don't bother. Tretinoin is the highest strength, the prescription strength vitamin A derivative that I think is often held as the gold standard. You'll get some great results, but it's absolutely not the case that if you can't reach for this, maybe you can't access the dermatologist for a prescription. Maybe your skin doesn't tr tolerate tretinoin because it is quite a powerful active. It's certainly not right to say use that or don't bother at all. Actually, some of the other recommendations I'm coming on to later in the video, I have found to be equally as effective in terms of my own skin than tretinoin. I captured my own experiences with tret in a recent video, which I'll link 
link up there. Definitely worth watching, particularly if you're almost feeling bullied by some influencers and content creators here on YouTube saying you have to reach for trade. It's got to be the end state. It really doesn't need to be. It's a super hyper effective product and definitely delivers fantastic anti-aging benefits for your skincare routine. But there are some other options. I'm not going to dwell on Tret too much in this video because of course it is prescription strength. And I always think when it comes to prescriptions, it's best discussing your own opinions, needs and outcomes with the prescriber themselves because they can see you face to face and do that consultation. So I'm going to come on to some of the over the counter anti-aging retinoids that I think actually deliver really good results, almost equal to those of Tret. First and foremost, let's talk the retinals. Now, different um, terminology can be used when we're talking about retinoids. Some people say retinol, some people say retinal, you can get retinaldehyde, you can get encapsulated retinols. All these are different and they are significantly different in terms of the results that they're going to give you. Whatever product you put on your skin, it has to go through a series of metabolic pathways to get to the retinoic acid, which is what our skin uses for all these fantastic anti-aging benefits. The closer to retinoic acid that the derivative is, the better because the fewer metabolic pathways it has to get through. Retinal is actually the closest you can get over the counter to retinoic acid. I mean, it's one of the highest potency and in my opinion, one of the most effective anti-aging treatments. Retinals can be really difficult to find. That's because they can be a little bit pricey to formulate with and brands often know, you know, it's just easier to formulate with a retinol and so brands go down that route. However, if you want really effective results that almost mirror those that you can get on prescription, I think a retinal is the way forward. And there's three that I want to call out. First and foremost is this. This is the Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10. This changed the retinoid market when it launched because it was the most affordable and accessible retinal that I've ever found. I get stunning results with this. I wouldn't say they're quite, none of these are going to be quite what you'll get with tretinoin, but you don't get as many side effects either. So it's kind of like you need to balance up the two. You get very few side effects with this because it's super hydrating, making it really applicable for dry and sensitive skin. Though again, make sure you introduce it very gradually, but the results are stunning. I've noticed a visible reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, definitely a boost in collagen and elastin characterized by feeling I've got more tension to the skin. I've got back some of that firmness and elasticity. And for the price point, I honestly don't think it gets better than this. I literally adore it. They do do two strengths. They do a five and a 10. The 10 is definitely the strongest and the most effective when it comes to anti-aging. Of course, one of the very best retinal products on there has to come from Medicaid and their Crystal Retinal. This is a fantastic line of products that has incremental steps of strength. So you can start on the lowest strength one month, work your way up month by month through the strengths until you're using the highest strength, which at the moment is the Crystal Retinal 10. They do do a consultation only 20 version of it, which is honestly, I tried it and it literally blew my skin off. It was that strong. I'd say it got more of a reaction than Tret. And so I actually say it's probably stick at the Retinal 10 because I think that's where you'll get maximum benefits with minimum side effects. Beautifully formulated, which will give you all of the results that you want. But honestly, I don't find it too irritating to the skin. This is definitely a pricier option than the Geek and Gorgeous version, but equally as good. And if you're looking for something that's a little bit more simplistic because it talks you through the step-by-step -step strength increases, and you want something that's formulated so so gorgeous. It applies on the skin beautifully and you'll get to next to no irritation that I definitely think the Medicaid one is worth the price. Now, finally, for people that have very dry skin, you might think, do you know what? I just can't reach for a retinal. That's too strong for me. It's never going to work. Well, I'm here to tell you it can. And actually, Aven have come up with a really great product. They combine a mid-strength retinal with their thermal spring water, some beautiful hydrating peptides and some really nice occlusives and humectants. This means that the Aven Low Thermal in intensive cream is a really great, nice strength um, option for a retinal if you have very dry skin. Personally, if you don't suffer from pre-existing dryness, I'd reach for either the Medicaid or the Geek and Gorgeous, which are my two favorites, but this is definitely a great option from a vent if you have got that pre-existing dryness and you want to take it very slowly because you're worried about stripping and drying the skin out further by including a really high strength anti-aging retinoid. Now, in truth, those three products that I've just mentioned are the only three easily available retinoids now products on the market. I think this is such a shame, but it just goes back to what I said originally, that brands tend to formulate with retinols because they're cheaper, they're easier to formulate with, and so they take the lazy approach. However, I think if you're serious about anti-aging in your skincare routine, definitely reach for one of these three retinol products that will give you so, so many great benefits. In fact, the studies have shown that retinol is second only to tretinoin in terms of the effectiveness for anti-aging in our routine, and is streets ahead of retinols. However, not everybody will want to reach for one of the 
three products that I've just mentioned, particularly because the price point of a retinol product can be a little bit higher. And there are some really great high strength anti-aging retinols on the market. I'm going to call out two specifically. First and foremost is the Paula's Choice 1% Clinical Retinol. Honestly, doesn't get stronger than this in the retinol category. And this product is beautifully formulated with lots of hydrating ingredients and a couple of calming and soothing ones as well. This means that it's going to minimize the amount of egg dryness that you'll get from using it and also tame back any redness and sensitivity. I'd say this is applicable for just about all skin types, but if you are a little bit more on the sensitive side, make sure you do introduce this very gradually. Take it to your time and listen to what your skin's saying. Most other people, they can tolerate this a couple of times a week and building up from there. I do love this product. Again, not the cheapest out there, but I think when it comes to retinoids, it's always worth paying a little bit more to get a better and quality formulation because that'll just make the journey so much easier and offset some of the side effects. Finally, I want to call out the Face Theory Regena Calm Pro. This is a fantastic retinol ester. That means it's going to be slightly more easygoing on the skin than the Paula's Choice Clinical, even though it has a vaguely similar um, concentration of pure retinol. Because it's encapsulated in that form of a retinol ester, it will just minimize any redness, sensitivity, and irritation because it is in a more prolonged release form. This means it's fantastic if you have sensitivity to the skin. They even do a lower strength. They do the pro version, which I'm talking about now. They do a lower strength option as well, which I will link below as I will all of the products today that can be used on sensitive skin as well. I think this is a fantastic affordable option that will really deliver some great benefits to the skin and also is formulated with some calming and soothing ingredients, again, to offset any of the dryness, the sensitivity and the irritation. Whichever of these products you choose, honestly, they are going to be your anti-aging best friend. I think when it comes to my own anti-aging skincare journey, the most improvement I've seen has been from the introduction of a retinoid. I've tried so many out there, but the retinals have definitely been the ones that have given me the most results and the quickest results to show. So I would definitely recommend you reach for one of those as the starter point. But if your budget won't, there's some other retinol options available. I'd love for you to sound off in the comment section below with what your favorite vitamin A derivatives are, the results that you've got from using them. So leave me a comment and wherever you are in the world, guys, stay Stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.